So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this sort of custom COD character using a solid and then using it to make a transition going across the screen. Um, this isn't really an effect that I want to be giving away because I know that a lot of people can't. It's not an effect that I've seen before and I'm the only one that really uses it. So if you could like and favourite this video um, so it can get lots of views and then maybe more people can know about it and that would be cool. So go and do After Effects. Um, no, first download the uh, file in the description, which is called Transition Man. Download that, get it onto your PC. If you have COD4 PC already, you can easily make your own by getting the green screen map. Um, drag that into After Effects the file called Transition Man, and go to file. Oh, go to file. No, composition, new composition, and click use those settings, and click OK, and drag this file into After Effects. You see it there. It's got these black black borders, but that doesn't matter. And then go to with this selected, go to Effect, Keying, Key Light 1.2, then select the color, which is green. Then change this to 119. That will just get rid of some of the black lines that are in the background and set this to 100. And as you can see, it should look like that. Um, I don't know why this changed color, it's just something that happened when I was recording. I don't think it should make a difference. But let's go to, to Layer, Auto Trace. And as you can see, it auto traces the gun. Um, it seems to have fucked up then. Might want to just cut the clip, clip a bit. We probably don't need that much anyway. So cut it to about there. Cause for some reason the lights lights fucked up. But you can obviously if you got COD for PC you can make your own. I'm putting this just for those that don't have COD for PC. So cut the clip to you get the bit where he's in the light. So as you can see, this bit he's in the dark. But we want it when he's in the light. So get that bit. Then there's two bars here, one's to see to zoom in sort of, and the other's to cut the work area down. So get the second bar and drag that across, zoom in a bit, and then drag it to exactly the end of this, which is there, put the bar there, and drag that to there. So you've just got that this little bit of the bar selected, this bit. Um, then you want to go to layer auto trace and what this does is it masks round the character um, you want to play around with these settings so you've got the whole thing selected maybe not like that bring it up a bit maybe higher still until you get some good settings it's gone a bit high 50 maybe 55 57 Trying to find a good value here. Maybe a bit too much. Yeah, 10% is about a good value. So set that to 10%. Um, tolerance 1, minimum area 10 pixels, corner roundness, I don't think we want it 50%. Probably on 0 actually. Or 1 actually, but 1%. So we want. The work area selected up here, alpha, blur 0, tolerance 1, minimum area 10 pixels, threshold 10% and corner roundness 1%. Then we want apply to new layer checked and preview ticked as well. Then we click OK and it will generate a mask for us. And there we have the mask. And as you can see it's animated and moving. So that's pretty much most of what we're needing to do done. Um, we don't know what's happened here. Hmm. Oh, I know what it is. It's because the the outside of this is generated as well. So we might want to create a new mask on this. Just draw a simple square mask. Well, actually, what we'll do. And as you can see, we have got the masks here. Um, 
can delete one and two because they're the white bars on the side. Um, that's happened because I didn't render the clip that I've put in the file. So delete mask and one and two, and then you're left with the COD character. And as you can see, it's keyframed. Um, you can pretty much do this with any green screen thing once it's keyed up because what it does is it sort of draws a mask around the outlines of a shape. So, and with work area selected, it creates an animation. So, we've got that. Now, what we want to do is we want to change the color of this. Um, a lot of people are asking, like, in my different numbers, I've got different color sites. Say for this one, I've got blue man. So, what we want to do is go to effect, color correction, go to tint. Then, matte black won't make a difference because the guy's white to start with. So, we want to matte white to say blue. There's your basic COD character. Um, to I always add a bit of blur to this, so I'm gonna add a blur, go to effect, blur and sharpen, proportion blur, and then probably add one. Just to blur out the edges a bit. Um, now to put the cert the num I'm not gonna show you a number because then you will have the exact same thing here. So what I'm going to show you is, say I'm just going to put, no actually I'll show you, uh, so we want to create a new circle mask, so go to layer new adjustment, then we'll create a white background, go to layer new solid, solid, and we want to create a simple circle, so go to layer mask, new mask, and hit M to bring up your mask and click on mask bar shape click on that and reset to an ellipse and we click scale so click S to bring up scale untick this so that things aren't locked and bring that in about that bring that in and you can lock that again bring that in like this. so And we want to create a blue ring around this on this mask. So go to effect, generate stroke, put a blue mask, and I'll put a red mask because you see what's happening. Bring the thickness up. Now to show you the transition part. So you want to get your object above whatever you're using as transition, then make it roughly the same scale as what that is. So the same scale as this circle. Well, actually, it's probably a better idea if we made it the same size as the screen. So, probably bring it to about... ...300%. Um, and what we want this to do is run across the screen and act as a transition to... ...show the circle disappearing. Uh, maybe make the circle a bit bigger. So... What we do is we move it over here, and we're going to keyframe the position. So go to the beginning, put P there, and then at the end, we want the P to be right across the other side of the screen. So drag it along the X axis across to the other end of the screen, and as you can see, he runs across the screen. And now we want this circle to disappear as he runs across the screen. So we go to with the circle select the circle layer selected, go to effect, transition, linear wipe. Um, he's coming from this way, so we want it on minus ninety, I think. Let me just check that. Yeah, we want it on minus ninety. Where's that black square? Oh, I know why. Um. So, go delete the circle that we just created, and go to layer, new, solid, make a white solid, and then go to get the ellipse tool to create a circular mask. Go on it there. That there. And then go to effect, and generate stroke on that. Probably put a red. Let me go much better. Put the middle, and then go to effect, transition, linear wipe. 
So what it's going to do is going to wipe away that circle. Hopefully set this to minus 90 because it's coming from this way. Set that to that. So as he comes across, this will slowly. Oh, change the wrong thing. As it comes across, this will slowly wipe away. So we want to keyframe the transition when it gets to about here. Obviously, put this this above that, and we can start keyframing the transition. So hit a transition effect there. Hit U to bring up your keyframes, by the way. So U on that. And it's about here that it's all gone. So when you want to cross, go to the middle, and we want that one about there. So it's across. Go to the middle of that. So basically, you just want to mess around with the keyframes to get it about, about perfect. It's probably best if you do singular keyframes. There. There we go. So as he runs across, the circle slowly vanishes. And that is that. So that is how to create a custom COD character uh, using the auto trace tool. Then using that to create a mask which we then put on a solid layer and then using transition to slowly make something disappear um, if you could please like and favorite this video um, it'll help me out a lot because this is an effect that not this is an effect that not many people know so it'd be nice if you could like and favorite and let's get lots of views